morning wonderful people today is friday september 16th i took another day off i had to mentally it was just we'll get into it later but i just got back from a little hot girl walk nothing too serious a little over a mile i got my hair done yesterday i will show you in closer detail later but i need to clean my kitchen um let me see how fast i can do it i just um I didn't just order Instacart, but Instacart is on its way. My grocery order from Instacart, it's on its way. And I started kind of cleaning parts of the kitchen last night. Like I wiped down the fridge and like took everything out and blah, 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 put everything back. But there's some dishes in the sink. My island has laundry on it. I don't know how I turned into this person. And I just need to like sweep and mop and stuff. I actually need to probably clean my whole house but let's not get ahead of ourselves so i'm gonna clean the kitchen now and then hopefully my groceries will be here i can put things up i can eat breakfast and then i will tidy up the rest of my apartment so let's do that play cuff it by beyonce all right here's the album renaissance on spotify what So my groceries just arrived so i thought i would do a little grocery haul sorry if you can hear the washer in the background it's right there and it's going but let's get into it so i always get a lot of produce these are cucumbers actually aqua and water get into it okay um this just tastes better and i used to not be like a water snob but alkaline water just tastes better anyways cucumbers i love cucumbers as a snack and also in salads mushrooms use these for a lot of things um but i am gonna make some pizza which the crust is here and i think i want mushrooms in the pizza so that's why i got mushrooms i like to put this in shrimp and just eat it like with the teriyaki sauce and this it's really good in filling bell peppers again and onions for uh the pizza that i'm gonna get or get make i also got some pears i love pears how I feel about pears is like how that little boy on Instagram is like, I love corn. I feel like that about pears. Pears are bomb. And I also think I'm gonna make a charcuterie board soon. So I wanted to get some pears, got some salami, some crackers. Um, also got some brie cheese for the charcuterie board and some pumpkin seeds. And I have some blueberries um, in the fridge already that I think I'm gonna use, I need to get rid of. Um, hot chili oil and sesame oil. I've been wanting these for a while. I like to make Asian food from time to time and I see these ingredients in recipes a lot so I thought I should pick them up. I'm making that Zupa Toscana copycat olive garden soup and I needed some potatoes. So I got these little baby Dutch potatoes um, for that and I think I have well, I got some chicken broth and some heavy whipping cream for it, for, it, for it and some kale. But everything else I think I already had, so I didn't need to buy. Some egg whites because, you know, for breakfast. For the pizza that I think I'm going to make, I bought this tea that I saw. I don't know. I, I guess I just saw it on Instacart. I, I just am trying to drink tea after I eat dinner, so I thought this would be good. Plain Greek yogurt, I like this as a snack, put some vanilla stevia in there. Let's get into a couple other things. I saw this thing on TikTok, I'm about to make it now. It's like your own pumpkin cold foam, cold foam, I can't speak this morning, but with like healthy ingredients. So I'm, we're gonna get into it, okay? We're gonna get into it in a minute. Let's talk proteins and then we can make my coffee because I need it. Salmon, I always get this salmon at Sprouts. This is my first time ever buying lamb. I never buy lamb, but 
I was gonna get like ground turkey and they were out and she was like, do you want this instead? And I was like, sure, I'll try it. I did not mean to get this many packs of chicken thighs, but I guess I'll be eating this for the next month. That's fine. I did get some deli meat. This is the buffalo chicken breast um, deli meat, some turkey bacon, and then some shrimp. And that was it. So we are back and I'm going to make the healthy vegan pumpkin cold foam. Um, if it's good, I will actually link the TikTok video that I got this from below, or maybe I'll just put her name across the screen here, but she makes a lot of vegan um, recipes. So I'm gonna start off with um, a cup of soaked cashews. Okay, and then it says to add two cups of filtered water. I'm adding alkaline water to mine. Okay, and then the rest of the ingredients are just like a dash of salt, basically two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. I'm kind of eyeballing mine, but two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Only other ingredients it says to add is um, vanilla extract. This is vanilla bourbon extract from Trader Joe's and some um, pumpkin pie spice seasoning. Hers was from Trader Joe's, I think, but mine is from Sprouts. Oops, hope that wasn't too much. <laughs> and then that is it. So let me put the lid on it, close it. Let me make sure. It de definitely has that pumpkin cold foam taste, but I'm wondering if I just didn't blend the, um, or soak the cashews long enough. I soaked them for 15 minutes and someone said 15 minutes or you can do up to overnight, but I'm wondering if it really should have been overnight. Yeah, because I definitely taste like the grittiness of it, which is not good. Okay, hello wonderful people. It is a couple hours later. If you now hear a sound in the back, it is my dishwasher. I am about to head out and get my nails done. It's been a minute, guys, like a minute, a minute. But it's really time to get them done. But before I do that, I want to show you some things I've gotten either that have been sent to me or things that I've bought. So one second, let me put you down. Okay, so the first thing is, is that I bought something from Etsy. I have not bought anything from Etsy in like 2012 since I was in college. This was like when Etsy, to me, started becoming a real thing. I remember Etsy in high school, but in college i feel like i was more into etsy haven't bought anything from a long long time um but decided to just purchase some things again and i'm glad i did so the first thing i got was i don't know if i've mentioned that i wanted to get my ear uh re-pierce the second piercing here closed up and so i wanted to purchase some earrings from there some earrings from etsy and they're just really tiny i don't even but basically they just look like this super 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 tiny um and these are just earrings i want to keep in my ear at all time and i love the personal personalization that comes with etsy it has my name on it it's like a thank you for purchasing super cute and then i wanted to buy some chunky hoops that look like this, which I thought were super cute as well. This is from the brand Agata Sword Jewelry. And then this, the little earrings are from Another East. And both of them left like really cute little um, notes to go with the purchases. I did also buy a Van Cleft dupe necklace. I know the girls are spending thousands of dollars on necklaces. I can't do it, okay? Because I like them, but I don't like them a thousand dollars much. 
So I bought a dupe and it's the in the tortoise color. I thought it would be good for fall and I thought it would go with black and brown things, um, which, you know, makes sense. I'm black and brown. I have to throw that in there. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. So I don't know. I think it was coming from a different com a different company. I think it was coming from a different country. So it hasn't arrived yet. I think that it will arrive this next week like the week of the 19th of september um because last time i checked the tracking it said it was in ohio so i did place the skims order i wanted to get these little sets that i keep seeing everybody in for like a thousand years so i got this tank top it's a crop tank top i actually really like it it is flattering little square nut square nut i cannot speak today wow the square neck shaping is really really flattering um and it also kind of like is flattering if you have some like bra fat so you know i'm working on it and then i got the matching lounge boxers that look like this i should have got these in a medium this isn't a large this is in a medium i should have got them both in a large but i don't know i think i was like shopping late at night and i just made a mistake and they're tight but i don't feel like returning them so I'm just gonna keep them. Seamless Solutions Shapewear Bralette in the color Onyx in black. It looks like this. This looks small. I do not have small boobs. This looks small, but it fits. Um, basically, this is like shapewear, but just the bralette. Um, this has so much hold that I could just wear this as a bra. I, could, I wanted to buy this like as a lounge bra and just kind of like wear it around the house or something but I could actually wear this as a bra and it's pretty comfortable so I was actually pleasantly surprised with that and then so I was always one of those girls that was like Lululemon is not worth it why do people shop there they're wasting their money um I don't get it pandemic happened I am no longer getting out of the house every day and now i just want lounge wear clothes that are comfortable and because i don't really buy clothes that much anymore because i don't really go anywhere um i'm also just a little bit more lenient on how much i will pay for athletic athleisure clothes if that makes sense um and i hate to say it but i love to say it there is a difference in quality between this and Fabletics. I know people are like, dupe, blah, blah, blah. I know there's Amazon dupes. Haven't tried the Amazon dupes. The Lululemon quality is 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 pretty good. Like I can I could tell right off the bat, I was a loyal Fabletics leggings person. Totally different quality. So I just got some regular black leggings. These just go all the way down. Um, they have pockets, which I do like to have in my leggings my fabletics ones that i've had for years they had holes in it it was time to toss them so i just got some black leggings have pockets these do not have pockets um these are in olive color and they go all the way down to the bottom too i wish they had pockets i guess this was a, another late night shopping trip but it's okay i really liked this color um as well and before i show you i got some hoodies from lululemon that i i is a guilty pleasure because they're so expensive but before i show you that i want to show you what i'm wearing because it's from lululemon this is from abercrombie and i'll insert like a little clip of me actually modeling this this is like a one piece bodysuit situation it's called like the align bodysuit yeah, it has shorts I, I don't know but it's a vibe i can't see myself doing the type of workouts i do in this but if you are someone that does like pilates yoga um more low intensity only because like if you have bigger boobs it does have a lot of hold but the girls are still showing you know what i mean so like the idea of jumping up and down and all that kind of stuff i just think it would be better for low impact so i don't know how i got into these hoodies i'm seeing a TikTok or what but i ended up buying three of them so this is like in a natural the natural ivy ivory color i forget the name of these i have three of them i've worn and washed that one already i have not worn this one because i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it this is in the color wasabi uh the scuba oversized half zip hoodie is what it's called 
This is in the color Wasabi. I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep it. I like this color in theory, but just it's giving leprechaun to me, like my hair and the, I don't know. Moving on. Okay, so I did make one purchase from Biosance. A couple of weeks ago, Biosance had like a 30% off, uh, like everything on the site. So if you don't know, I love Biosance. They actually sent me something last month, I believe. And I'll link that video here. But basically, um, there's a promo code for you. So I'll list, list the promo code here, um, as well as in the down bar. One of my favorite items from them is the... Oh, it's in my bathroom. I took it out. But it's the Squalling Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. Facial Serum Exfoliant Skin Overnight. Lactic Acid basically just gives your skin a really nice glow. It's a chemical exfoliant, but it's gentle. I do notice a difference in my skin when I use lactic acid. So I wanted to buy another one of these. I had a trial size, but I wanted to buy the full size. And then I got three free samples, which are really generous. This is a squalene and an amino gentle cleanser and if you're curious about the squalene it's like animal safe or vegan so it's not squalene from to where they have to kill whales I, I believe that's where squalene actually comes from is whales but it's vegan squalene I, I forget they get it from some type of like sugar cane or plant or something but this is a sample guys that they gave me isn't this the biggest sample you've ever seen yeah, I think so too. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. This is an Instagram post I'm going to do. This is from a company, JVN, um, which is a hair care line. They sell it at Sephora. Um, I'll pop the guy's picture here. I'm sure you've seen him if you're stalking the Sephora site or if you go to the Sephora site often. I did notice this brand rolled out maybe one to two years ago on Sephora. I was curious. I was intrigued. But every time I wanted to try something, I just wasn't really sure about the brand. So I'm really grateful and fortunate that they sent me the items to try. Um, and I'll tell you how they work on natural hair. So the first thing they sent me is the air dry cream and i'm guessing this is like on days you want to do wash and goes or even braid outs you can just apply this to your hair and it's basically supposed to um, help with frizz yep frizz adds natural texture and shine and hold so i'm really excited to try this product out next is that they um, sent me the complete pre-wash scalp oil listen i live for a good scalp oil um this is also silicone free color safe vegan sulfate free made with clean hemisqualine wow squalene is really trending right now um and i'm excited actually to really use this i love a good pre shampoo scalp oil it's my scalp gets, so it's always good night it's always a good idea to basically um use something like this and i like that the ingredients are pretty clean as well and that um, it has squalene in it. I just looked the first ingredient in this is actually squalene. So let me see. Doesn't really have a smell. Not mad at it, but I'm very, very excited to try that. And then the last item was the instant recovery serum. Um, and you apply this to damp hair um, to help prevent heat damage. So it actually comes in a jar. And what I really liked about this is that it comes in a jar, but it also came with this little, I don't know how to, what, how you call this, but it basically to scoop the product out and it has the company's um, like logo or initials on it. I thought that was really cool too. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is from Merit and I will actually be trying Merit today in my get, get ready with me portion of this video. So super thankful to Merit for sending this over. Um, they let me pick out my shades in two of the products. So it came with this little purse, which I think is really cute. Um, I'll actually probably use this today to put my vlogging camera in when I go to the nail shop. I think this is super cute. And the two items they sent me were the bronze bomb in the color Monarch and then the brow 1980 volumizing pomade and I chose the color black brown.
taper. Okay. Good to go. All right, let's do it. So I'm just gonna clean these up. Mark, I'm not gonna mark them or anything like that because we're not piercing them, but I'm just gonna clean them up and then see what we can do. How long have you had them vacant, I guess? Um, it's been a while, been like a while. I'd probably say six months, but I got them pierced in 2019 and it, it was fine for like a year and a half, even with me not wearing earrings all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna force it. I kind of hit a roadblock, let me see what it was exactly. Oh no, these are open. Let me see. You got some stuff trying to come out of here. It was just clogged up, you know. Oh, uh, like with dirt? No, probably uh, not dirt, just more like, um, just skin tissue, just, oh, hang, just a little gunk hanging out in there. And it just hangs out in there, it doesn't really do anything until you push it through. These are cute. Thank you. I normally don't pierce with these, but you got them done already. And they don't look like they're irritated, so as long as those treat you well, keep them in as long as you want to, you know? Okay. So I'm almost unsure of like the order I want to use these products in, but I guess I'll use them in my typical order. Since I'm using cream products, I'm going to go in with some contour using the Merit Stick. First thought is that it's very smooth, like very smooth on the skin. No issues at all. Like it just glides right on. And I do think that it is a good color for me. It doesn't seem too dark, not too light, not too red. I actually am really glad I chose the color Monarch. Seems like a good fit. So let me go ahead and put my concealer on, my foundation, everything else, and um, blend it out. And I'll get back to you. This looks so good. Um, I just want to say also I have like no highlight on my face but the glowy bronzy look from the Merit Stick. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 to take a break and show you the brow product on camera as well from Merit. Beautiful packaging by the way. I don't think I really talked about that but the gold packaging. Love it. Let's just 
see. Ooh. Actually. Really? Wow. Wow. Okay. I have to say I'm really pleasantly surprised. Normally when I use brow products like these that are in the little wand and you just brush it on, it leaves me feeling like I still need a brow pencil. I could still probably fill it in a little bit, but honestly, if I left all my brow products at home and I was on vacation, I would be satisfied with just this. I'm, I, <laughs> wow, I actually really like it. I've, I've been looking for a brow product like this for a very long time. They just haven't seemed to work out for me and I, I actually really like this so wow and I'm glad I got this shade it's perfect it's not too dark I feel like sometimes brow products can be so dark you look like you have witch brows but yeah these do not do that I really really like that I'm gonna finish the rest of my face go ahead and charge my camera really quick get dressed and then I'll either show you the finished product or I'll show you when we get there <laughs> So I am back home and I just want to show you I ended up picking up a charcuterie board charcuterie charcuterie board yeah that's how I say it from Italy um, a little more than I wanted to spend and also a little smaller than I wanted it to be but it's okay it's really cute it looks like this it's the one I picked like I actually physically picked it up um, when I was at Italy um, I think this is fine because honestly I don't really have a lot of people at my house ever. It's usually just me and maybe one other person. And this is more than big enough for two people. Um, like I said, I've been wanting a charcuterie board for a while and I think this is perfect. I'll probably actually use it this weekend. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I enjoyed having you as my company. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.